I do want to end on a personal note. I know you were the first and only Jewish vice president nominee. Speaking from personal uh, experience, and you are in Israel right now, how is this impacting you? Well, it was quite a jolt. I mean, uh, uh, you know, Saturday, October 7th, was the last day of the Jewish holiday of Sukkot, a festival of tabernacles, very happy, a harvest holiday. Um, and it was a happy holiday until this shocking news, jarring. It seemed unreal at the beginning. Sirens went off where I was. People went to the security rooms. Uh, prayer services were interrupted. Uh, but when the sirens stopped, we all went back to praying and celebrating the holiday afterward. But there's no question that for me and a lot of others who have supported Israel and the U.S.-Israel relationship, um, this surprise attack Hamas first was shocking and uh, proves, I mean, this, there'll be a time for this afterward about how they possibly could have done this and surprised Israel. But the other thing is they, they, they just acted brutally and um, we have to stand by them. But I'll tell you this, the country, Israel, I happen to be here, I see it, they're coming together. Uh, the, the different factions in the Israeli government are talking right now as we speak, Brittany, about uh, forming a unity government. I, I hope they do it today. And um, um, I can tell you in, in the neighborhoods I've been in, people are lined up to give blood for the soldiers. They're bringing food and, and warm clothes, uh, uh, whether the soldiers need it or not, uh, just to be part of what's, um, what's happening. So um, in the end, Israel is going to be okay. But th this terrorist attack really hurt the country. And uh, it's going to take a while to come back. And it, I, it had the same effect on me as an American who loves Israel. The attack has had an effect worldwide. I mean, we saw those excruciating social media videos of the attack. The Jewish American community right now is hurting. What's your message to them? Well, help, help out Israel in every way you can. Pray. Um, but uh, in the end, have confidence that uh, Israel is going to be okay. It's a very strong country. This uh, uh, brutal, um, barbaric ter terrorist attack, um, it does not threaten the existence of Israel. People compare it to the Yom Kippur War in 1973. Really, that looked like it might have threatened the existence of Israel. Um, so that's something to feel grateful for. But on the other hand, um, you know, you've got uh, more than 900 dead Israelis, including at least 11 who are American citizens, and you have 150 hostages, probably some of which are also American citizens. So um, it's a time of here <clears throat> of determination, of pulling together, but no, there's no question about it. The country, the people of the country are hurting about what happened. I just say one last thing, it's a small country. I mean, it's 7 million people, maybe 8 million. So I, I can tell you just walking along the street, going to the supermarket, whatever, um, almost everybody has somebody in their family who was called up to military duty. And frankly, too many people know somebody who was killed or even uh, taken as a hostage. So, um, you know, we're a country of 330 million. Israel is about seven or eight million. So you can imagine uh, how everybody is affected. And the other thing is, um, a lot of the country goes to war when the country uh, is at war. In the U.S., it's still about 2% of our population that's really in active duty. And thank God, most of the wars are not next door, but far away, except for 9-11. So, but at bottom line for the Jewish American community, um, stand by Israel and have confidence that notwithstanding this terrible blow, um, uh, the Israelis are pulling back together with tremendous determination, and Israel is going to be okay. Senator Joe Lieberman, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your insight. Please stay safe, and thank you for joining me. Thank you, Brittany.